Now we are going to see about AI in the cloud, which means you are able to publish LLM in the cloud using Olama and Cloud Run from Google. Using Olama, you are able to run your large language model locally on your computer or even in cloud completely free. So here is the message from Olama. Olama goes from local to cloud with Google Cloud Run GPUs. You're going to pay for the amount of usage. You can even scale to zero when not in use. You can fast start and you can use on-demand instances. Google published a detailed article in regards to the integration with Olama. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can publish AI in the cloud using Olama and Cloud Run, then how you can integrate that within Python application, test the application, and finally create a user interface, which looks like this. Even if you're an absolute beginner in coding, you should be able to do this, and I will provide all the code in the description below. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how you can publish AI in the cloud using Olama. First, we'll be seeing how you can set up Cloud Run, how to configure a Docker file to publish Gemma 2 model, then how you can create and build image using the Docker file, and finally, create service account and run the Cloud Run. So this is the basic setup which is required to run a large language model in the cloud using Olama. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, you need to sign up an account in Google Cloud. After that, in your terminal, type Google Cloud in it and then click enter. This will automatically ask you to authenticate. So first, we are going to set up Cloud Run. To do that, first we are going to enable few services by typing Google Cloud Services Run, then this URL, this URL, and this URL. After this, click enter. One key thing to note is that if you haven't downloaded G Cloud on your CLI, you have detailed step-by-step -step guide to install this. So step number two, creating the Docker file. This is required to create an image. So let's create a Docker file. And here is the content for the Docker file. It's just few lines of commands. Just we are downloading the Olama image, setting the port, and we are using Gemma 2 9 billion parameter model. We are downloading the model using Olama pull and then Olama serve to start the Olama server in Docker. That's it. Now step number three, creating the repo and build image. Repo is nothing but a storage place to store the image. Image is nothing but a package which contains Olama and all its dependencies. So by just running this image, Olama should run without any issue. To create the repo, gcloud artifacts create repositories create Olama. That's the name for the repo which I'm giving. Then repository format is Docker and the location is US central one. After this, click enter. Next, we need to build the image. To do that, gcloud builds submit and the tag is this path. This is the path to the artifacts or the repo which you just created. So here, you might need to change that to your project name. After that, I'm giving a machine type. Now click enter. Then if you come to cloud build in Google Cloud, you should be able to see the log. As you can see here, it's using the Olama version provided, then it's downloading the model. That is Gemma 2 model, 9 billion parameter. Even if you see the terminal, you can see the same commands. Now step number four, creating the service account and running the cloud run. To create the service account, just typing this command, gcloud im service account and the name of the service account is olama after this click enter next google cloud beta run deploy olama Gemma is the name of the google cloud run then here you're providing the project id which is going to be your own specific project id or project name similarly the service account which you created will have a project id here so here i'm giving cpu 8 maximum number of instances to memory 32 gb you can configure this based on your requirement. If you want GPU, just type hyphen hyphen GPU after this and then provide the number of GPUs and then the GPU type. As of now, to use GPU, you need to request for that. And this is how you can add your GPU and GPU type. In my case, I'm not using GPU. So just doing this and then click enter. This will automatically deploy the Olama Gemma in the cloud run, which you can see from Google Cloud. By clicking that, you should be able to get the URL where your Olama is running in the cloud. That is AI in the cloud. Now 
Olama is successfully deployed in Cloud Run. Now we have completed creating the Cloud Run. Now next step, how you can integrate that with your Python application. To test if you are able to access or if Olama is running in Cloud Run, you can just type curl, then authorization, Google Cloud auth print identity token and the URL. Then click enter. Just because I'm calling this for the first time, this will automatically start the server and then he, here you got the response. Olama is running. Now you can ask questions. Why is Skyblue in one line? With the same curl command as you can see here and then click enter. And here is the response. The answer is here in this line. To integrate this in the Python application, we also need to download the service account key. Coming to Google Cloud Console, coming to the service account section and clicking the Olama add service account. There you can click the keys. Then you should be able to add a key, create a new key, then in the JSON format and click create. This will automatically download the key in the downloads folder. Now I'm just copying the key to my current folder with the name key.json. You can just copy and paste it in the current location and then click enter. Now we need to give permission to the service account to access Cloud Run. To do that, gcloud run services add IAM policy binding that is Olama Gemma, that is the Cloud Run name. The service account which we created is Olama Act and the project ID which has permission to invoke the Cloud Run. After this, click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py. Inside the file, we are adding the URL to our Olama instance, path to the key.json. Then in the request.post, here we are asking question, why is the sky blue in one line? And we are printing a response, that's it. So just adding the credentials, calling the URL with the question. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal pip install, Olama, Google Auth and request and then click enter. Google Auth is mainly used to authenticate. We'll be using Olama package to test. But in this current setup, we are using just requests as you can see here. Now Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. The answer is here. And we parse that answer to display it here. To stream the response, just add stream equals true and then loop through the output. That's it. Now step number three is testing. You can test Cloud Run services locally on your computer. To do that, you need to create a proxy. Google Cloud Run services proxy Olama Jama, that is the name of the Cloud Run and the port number 9090. After this, click enter. Now this will ask for the location. We hosted in US Central one. So going to type 32 and then click enter. Now you can see it's proxied to this URL. Now I can use this URL in my Python application to call Olama. So I'm using Olama client and using the URL like this with the model name and the question to ask. And finally printing the response, that's it. This is just used to test the cloud run services without authentication. Just keeping the proxy as it is running, creating a new terminal, Python custom.py. That's where I've stored my code and here is the response. Now final step, how you can create a user interface. To do that, I'm going to install Chainlit. This automatically creates the user interface, like a chatbot-like interface. Pip install Chainlit and click enter. Now let's create a file called ui.py. Inside the file, I'm having the same code which we had before, that is authenticating the credentials, request.post. Here, I'm using a variable for prompt, message.content and finally returning the response. So if you see here, I'm using a chain lit decorator called on message. This will automatically get all the message, whatever we type in the user interface. Just with this one bit of code, we are able to create the user interface. Now I'm going to run this. In your terminal, chain lit run ui.py and then click enter. This will automatically open the user interface like this. Now I can ask a question. Why is sky blue in one line? Here is the response. Sunlight scatters off tiny air molecules. Blue light scatters more than other colors because it travels as shorter and small waves. Similarly, you are able to integrate this in any of your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.